Hey Sci-Fi fans, I'm Mary Chanel and I'm here at the Irving Convention Center hanging out at the Sci-Fi Expo. My name's John Hughes. I'm actually a professional trading card artist. I work on pretty much every uh, Marvel Comics property that comes out, um, although right now I'm exclusively working with Rittenhouse because they're just my favorite company. So that's pretty much what I do for a living. So what would you prefer, doing uh, the cosplaying models or just like freehand? What would you actually prefer? Um, I actually, I like doing reference work off of people I know just because it, it gives a little sentimental attachment to the piece. But yeah, just sketching is fun too because there's no pressure. Like. The only drawback to drawing somebody that you care about is if it doesn't look right, you know it and you don't like it because you want it to express who they are. So that can put a little bit of pressure on you. Do you have like any storylines with any of your artwork? That's actually a really good question because um, I don't know if you get a shot of it, but the, on the top left up there, the Goblin Queen, she was uh, the central part of like, the first story I read when I was young as reading comic books. She was this real tragic character. And uh, I decided that I wanted to do like the best Goblin Queen piece anybody had ever seen. But I guess I kind of do that. I do kind of, I try to make Zatanna kind of playful and magical. I try to make Poison Ivy very intense, you know. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I do, I guess. I never even thought about that before. This Captain America right here is a, um, that was when he changed, there was another character that became Captain America. And before that, he was called the Winter Soldier. And so that's why I did all the snow around him. So yeah, I guess I do kind of do that. I just didn't really think about it. So. Do you want to say any last words about your artwork for fans? Um, I can't really say a lot about what's coming because when you're working on stuff, you can't really talk about it until it's ready. But you're going to start seeing a lot more work from me, from characters that you know, uh, hitting the stands. And hopefully that'll be a good thing. And uh, for more, just check out johnhughesart.com. Hi, Eliza. Um, Hi. I have a, a question. I know it's not confirmed yet, but Ghostbusters 3. I think Bill Murray is holding up the process, but you didn't hear it from me. Okay. Do you believe in ghosts, and have you ever had a ghost experience? Oh my gosh. I believe in Ghostbusters. I mean, there's no, there's no denying. Hi, Eliza. Hi. Uh, I recently joined the Twitter. And the, I, Twitter. the Twitter. <laughs> you sound like my mom, dude. Okay. Uh, now, there was a, you uh, tweeted about uh, see if anyone is interested in playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Uh, so, as soon as I saw, I created an entire adventure. Are we uh, doing it? If you would like to, my friends think I'm nuts and say that's a Bring it up here. You know, my three brothers growing up, um, they were all older than me, and um... <laughs> Can I hug you? Is that okay? <laughs> sure! Hug it out! This might be a weird question, but can I also hug you? <laughs> I'm not going to ask for a hug. <laughs> Have you ever thought of being with a woman? <laughs> I mean, I, I, if I thought about it, I think everybody's thought about it at some point. And I think a lot of people, when they're young, they're curious and they experiment. Um, so I'd say I'm like, I'm like most people. And just one more thing, could I be so bold to ask for a kiss? <laughs> Security? What? <laughs>I'm Laura Garcia and I'm here with Loyal King. We see your brand represented at a lot of conventions, especially here in Dallas. Is this where you're mainly located? 
Um, well, yeah, we go to Dallas the most, but we're originally from Longview, Texas. We just, there's not really a scene there, so we always travel around like as much as we can around Texas, or we've been to um, Ohio. We just try to go wherever we can to just promote the brand. So who wears the Loyal King brand? Just anybody on the streets? Anyone that's interested. Mostly people are into streetwear, like streetwear clothing, like Obey or uh, The Hundreds, Johnny Cupcakes, you know, just those brands. Like, they usually love our stuff. Uh, people in the sneaker community, they love our stuff. You know, as you can see, we've already come up. Like, there's, we have some unreleased stuff here, like keychains, Goodwood pieces. Uh, we're going into more of a high-end fashion, like, we might be coming out with button ups or you know something interesting like uh, we can't I can't say it all but just just more like interesting things that aren't just t-shirts or jackets or hats well more hats of course there yeah, more hats All right, so everyone knows you from a tray of never-ending story. Yes. I was 12 and 13. We shot in Munich for a year. Uh, they beat the hell out of me making it. It was a really physical, phys yeah, physical, physical movie. But it was um, it was fun because you don't you don't get to make movies with animatronics. Everything's CGI, so it it, it, it gives you an like a real texture to it, you know. So it was a blast. We had a great time. You just did a movie called Sushi Girl. Sushi Can you Girl. tell me a little bit more about your experience and what the movie was like? Uh, Sushi Girl is uh, like a 70s grindhouse, violin, kind of that throwback, that Tarantino feel. Uh, it's real sexy, it's real, it, it's shot really, really good. It looks like a real expensive movie. Uh, we have Mark Hamill and Tony Todd and, and, and Michael Bean and Jeff Fahey. We just have this great cast and it was this little movie that, that uh, was just a hell of a blast to make. We shot it in under 30 days and, and I busted my butt and uh, I'm really proud with the work I did and, and so hopefully it'll just continue to, uh, I'll continue to do better work and better films and, and, uh, and as long as I'm having fun, I'm gonna keep doing it. The second it's not fun anymore, I'm out. Right. What are your last words to tell your fans for the future that you're planning? Just some good, exciting stuff. Some, some, some really good acting. Probably some crazy, debaucherous movies. Uh, we have some kind of real violent, uh, rough stuff that we have coming out. So you know, just it, it, things that are fun. We've had a lot of fun here at the Sci-Fi Expo. I'm Mary Schnell, and live long and prosper.